Today we're going to be looking at finding the volume. We're going to use volume of two shapes. This shape on the left is a rectangular prism and on the right we have a cylinder. So as you can see, I traced the bottom or the base of each of our objects to figure out the shape of the base. So you can see on the left, the shape of a rectangular prism is a rectangle and the shape of the base of a cylinder is a circle. Also, the formula for volume is area of the base times the height of the object. So we're going to be using the formula to find the volume of each of our objects. We'll start with the rectangular prism. As you can see, I measured the length of the side of the box and found that it was 5. The width of the box was 20 centimeters. So when I find the area of the base, or the area of the rectangle, length times width, 5 times 20, 100 centimeters squared. Next, I measured the height of my prism using a centimeter ruler, and I found that it was 28 centimeters. The final step for solving my problem was to take the numbers and insert them into the formula. Volume equals the area of the base times the height. Since we found the area of the base to be 100 and the height to be 28, we multiply those together and we see that the volume is 2,800 centimeters cubed, which means that you could put 2,800 of those centimeter cubes into that cereal box. We know the area of the base for a rectangle, the area of a rectangle would be length times width. So if we want to find the volume of a rectangular prism, we use length times width times height. In our next example, we'll be finding the volume of a cylinder. If we take the area of the base of a cylinder, we're finding the area of a circle. As you recall, the area of a circle is pi r squared, or pi times the radius times the radius. So next, I'm going to measure the diameter of the can and divide that number by 2. So as you can see on the ruler, the diameter is 10 centimeters, therefore the radius equals 5 centimeters. The next step in my example was to substitute the value for the radius into the formula. Area of circle is pi r squared, so pi times r times r. The area of the base equals 3.14 times 5 times 5. When I put those numbers into my calculator, I get 78.5 centimeters squared. We square the centimeters because we're talking about the area. Because the formula is area of the base times the height of the cylinder, I then must find the height of the cylinder and I measured that and found it was 12 centimeters. When I put my numbers into the calculator, area of the base, 78.5 centimeters squared, times the height of the cylinder, 12, I find that this can could be filled with 942 cubic centimeters. Looking at a cylinder, we can do the same thing. We know the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the formula for, the specific formula for the volume of a cylinder would be pi r squared h.